Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I am here to review the DreamWorks animated film Turbo with the voice talents of Ryan Reynolds, Paul Giamatti, Michael Pena and Luis Guzman, Snoop Dogg, Maya Rudolph, Ben Schwartz, Michael Patrick Bell aka Mike Bell, Bill Hader, Ken Jong, Michelle Rodriguez, Richard Jenkins, who voices a character named Bobby, couldn't find a photo of his character. Kurt Wood Smith from That 70s Show, yes, the guy who played Red, couldn't find a picture of his character, but he voices the indie CEO. And Samuel L. Jackson. Turbo is about this orange snail who wants to race in the Indy 500, but of course the problem is that he's a snail and he can't race. But then one day, he happened to be on top of a car when a drag racing scene was going on. When the car was going so fast, Turbo gets sucked inside this car and he gets the powers of becoming, of having super fast powers. And so now, Turbo gets to live his dream thanks to that little freak accident. And I'm going to be honest, I actually wanted to see this film. Yes, it's the ideal of a snail wanting to race with these fast powers but come on we have to give these movies a chance to see how they go we can't just immediately go oh this is stupid when we haven't even seen the film yet i just wanted a really good animated film and dreamworks is actually my second favorite animation studio my number one is pixar now that i've seen turbo i really like it turbo was a lot of fun. It was just really enjoyable. I thought the animation in this film, wow, looks so beautiful. And when the racing scenes are going on, man, do they have a whole lot of detail. And the racing scenes in this film, they were just so awesome. I was sucked into the screen when the racing scenes were going on because it's so well animated turbo definitely racing the indy 500 and the final 30 minutes of the film it was just a whole lot of fun the characters in this film are cool too the funny thing is that this is the second dreamworks i made a film with ryan reynolds he had another film earlier this year called the crudes i thought ryan reynolds was good in the crudes and i thought he was good in turbo for animation and his voice really fit the character of Turbo very well. I really like the character Turbo. He was just such an adorable character. I'm gonna be honest, the character Turbo is just one of the most cutest animated characters I've ever seen in animation history. And when he was getting down, you know, when his eyes are all like watering all that, I'm like, no, please don't cry Turbo. Please don't cry. Come on, come on, cheer up. Buddy, I was actually like that up in the screen because I really cared for Turbo and he was just so adorable. I just really loved that snail. And then we get the other snails too. They were really cool. Samuel Jackson, man, he is just so awesome as Whiplash, this black snail. We got Paul Giamatti as Turbo's brother who doubts him of Turbo's dreams. And I enjoy Paul Giamatti's character. Michael Pena is in the same situation as Turbo where he wants to follow his dreams. But his brother, uh, played by Luis Guzman, just like Paul Giamatti, they doubt the dreams. And I thought that was interesting how they really played that out. Michelle Rodriguez, hot as hell. The character she voices, not hot at all. Then we have Snoop Dogg, Maya Rudolph, surprisingly, and more. The voice talents really fit perfectly. And like I said, the animation is so beautiful. Definitely my favorite parts of Turbo are just the racing scenes. They were just exhilarating. They were fun. Turbo is just full of energy. Turbo once again proves why DreamWorks Animation Studios is my second favorite animated studio. It was a funny movie too. I got good laughs. Although the humor here really is aimed more towards the kids. If you're an adult, you have to really be a true kid at heart to really enjoy the kid humor in Turbo because when I saw the film I'm just like huh I'm surprised DreamWorks didn't attempt to add adult humor like they normally do 
But I, I still laughed at the kid humor here. The kid humor got to me. I really did get a lot of good laughs. I overall just had such a blast with Turbo. The only problems I do have with Turbo is that obviously you know how it's going to end. It gets a little predictable with the ending. There's a few times where they do reuse lines that we've heard dozens of times in films. Also, the message about following your dreams. We've heard that dozens of times in other films too. But I think how they handled the whole follow your dreams, don't give up thing here was handled very decently. Turbo is an outstanding animated feature. Really love the animation, really good voice talents, awesome racing scenes. I just had a lot of fun with this film. I am going to give the DreamWorks animated film Turbo three and a half out of four stars. Subscribe to my channel, comment your honest opinion on this film, like and share this video, follow me on Facebook, and Twitter. I hope you enjoyed this and don't forget that I will always have Taga Power!